scene two. A church on the hill. Monk is pretending to pray. And ooh. <laughs> and Gutenberg enters. <laughs> <laughs> but you can call me Johan, Johan Gutenberg. Well, Mr. Gutenberg, what brings you to my church on the hill? This big Bible! <laughs> See, I invented the printing press last night, and now I'm going to use it to print the Bible. I'm going to call it <laughs> the Gutenberg Bible! <laughs> the Bible will be printed and distributed to the mass. You must not know the printing press has been destroyed. I shall toy with him. <laughs> well, Mr. Gutenberg, have you ever thought about becoming a monk? I think one. Seems pretty boring. No, you're a monk. Monkey is power. Monk with me. Come to me. I've got a connect. Ah, what the hell? This is your own definition. You can say that. I don't know.
inspired. <laughs> By reality. <laughs> I mean, there sure are a lot of people talking about God these days. And also a lot of people talking about stuff. And some people don't even think you need stuff. I mean, they think all you need is the Bible. Yeah, we think that's dumb. <laughs> uh, is the sound of a baby's laughter in the Bible? <laughs> is the beauty of a sunset in the Bible? <laughs> what about bacon? <laughs> now, don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong. We love the Bible. Both parts. There are so many animals in there. And, and the Gutenberg <laughs> loves the Bible, too. That's why he wanted everybody to read it. Which is exactly why Monk didn't want him to have it. Now, see, Monk wants power. And when you know something that other people don't, that's his power. For example, I'm going to tell Doug a secret. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now I know something that you don't. 